Okay, everybody, we're going on the Star Trek trip. We're on a mission now. And some Russell's going to give Lieutenant J a communicator if they can get it. I got the communicator with me. Uh, we're standing here in front of the Alice Chalmers tractor I always talk about. And over there is Eileen Dover, right over there. The statue that we named our TV studio about, Eileen Dover Studios. And we're on our trip. And this is part of Eileen Dover Studio production uh, through Acapella Playhouse. And uh, we're going down there to give Lieutenant uh, Jay a communicator to get her uh, in communication with the Picard timeline. Yeah, we need to get to the Picard timeline. Paramount Plus, if you could help us get there, it'd be great. We got a shuttlecraft, the Dennis Hopper, we're going to be taking down there in the timeline, the storyline. But Deb, uh, uh, Ruby and I are going to the Greyhound bus station right now. We hope we get there in time because we couldn't get an Uber. We couldn't get money for Uber and nobody from the church would take us and or answer my calls anymore. And they're the only people I really know right now. And uh, um, But anyway, we're going to try to get the bus. We're going to go up and get on the Woodward Fast Bus. And we're going to Indianapolis. So follow along on WD David on YouTube. All right, more later. Ruby and I are leaving on our trip, Stephen. Huh? We want to thank you guys for all oh, your help. And uh, we're going on our trip, and you'll be part of our TV show because uh, in the intro, we got your artwork in it, you know? Yeah. But anyway, thank you all You're for welcome. all your help. You're and welcome. happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Thanksgiving, guys. You all did a beautiful job with this store. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to put mask on. Get mask on. Our first transport's here. Put a mask on. All right, I got a mask on. Let's get on the bus. We got spaghetti sauce. Hey, bus driver. We're going to Star Trek convention. You gotta take it downtown. I'm fit. I'm a uh, senior citizen, 50 cent, right? Yeah. And she got a dollar. You got 50 cents? Yeah. Uh, Give it to him. Thank you, driver. Back of the bus. Yeah, but you get to the back of the bus. I got my stuff there. Uh, hey. Uh, 50 cents, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Buster, where do we get off uh, for the Greyhound bus station? What's the... Uh, I know we have to walk, but it's a Washington Lafayette or something. You cross that? Uh, oh. Where? Rosa Park or Transit Center. All right, thank you. I can walk from there. All right, thank you. Rosa Parks Transit Center. Now, I sat in the same bus seat that Rosa Parks sat in when she refused to move her seat. I sat in that seat. It's at the Ford Museum, the Henry Ford Museum here in Detroit. That's worth a trip to Detroit right there alone, that experience. I was there in a group of people. And the tour guy asked, does anybody want to sit in the seat that Rosa Parks sat in? Nobody moved, nobody even looked up. The kids weren't even paying attention what he was saying about her. I looked around, nobody even reacted. I said, well, yeah, I'd like to sit in that seat. So I was the only one that did. Huh? Anyway. Uh, if you come to uh, Detroit, you can sit in that seat on that bus, that very bus. Uh, on a uh, later. Bus to the Station. Is that your Uncle Steven? Yeah. Tell him we're on our way now. We don't yeah, need I him. Alright. Uh, Uncle Steven was our back. Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. Thank you. We love you. You're part of the story now. Hey, hey, you and you and Doug start watching us on YouTube because you you know we'll be doing we'll be talking about you all weekend, you know, on YouTube at Deputy David. Alright? 
how are we up to load it? Yeah, well, I will load it at the hotel here. All right, more later. Bye. Yeah, Ruben and I go on faith. We just got off the bus. The bus driver waited for a bunch of people on the bus to get on and, uh, off and get back on with. He's still waiting. We can get back on. Can I get a meal for me? But anyway, these people are giving out free. All right, thank you so much. God bless you all. Now I was wondering how I was going to have a Thanksgiving dinner. And I know, look at this. These people are doing it for us. The, the bus driver waiting for us to get back on. Ruby, you get back on. And I'll grab one here, and we got us a Thanksgiving dinner. And isn't that beautiful? See, Jesus is with us. I believe it. I believe He is. Going on this trip. God bless you. We're going to Indianapolis for a Star Trek convention. So I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. And I got the water I needed. You got the water I needed. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Go on. Get on. Yeah. And we're getting back on the bus. Thank you, driver. That's God bless you. That's my Thanksgiving dinner now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Isn't it beautiful that somebody would do that for us? That's beautiful. I'm loving this trip so far. More later. Huh? Where's my meal? Where's yours? I gave it to the lady. You gave it to the lady? She was going to get off. Oh, they couldn't have time. Well, here, we'll split ours, honey. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right. You're a beautiful person, Ruby. You're a beautiful person. Isn't she a beautiful person? Y'all give us a room tonight. Not tonight. We're going to be all right tonight. But tomorrow night, we we don't even have tickets into the Starbase India. They may have been told not to let us in. Yeah, I got a fork here in my hand. Go ahead, honey. There you go. All right. More later. There's the MGM. Uh, Casino. I got a lot to say about the MGM Casino, not only here, but in Las Vegas too. I got a lot to say about that. And MGM in general, and I filmed a lot of movies at the old MG lot, which is Sony Pictures now, but it was when I was in Hollywood. Okay, I know. And then uh, this MGM here, I'll talk, to, I'll talk about the casinos later, the Detroit casino scene talk about that later we're close oh that's the building I tried to get it's an old uh, Union uh, soldiers and oh and there's uh, Beacon Park Beacon, Beacon uh, Park yeah oh I got I can tell you so, a lot about Beacon Park and that's where Eric uh, and Salt uh, they did a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show live and Disney, I, I said that in another video. You all get Geraldine video and Eric, y'all sign them to a contract. Man, they're so talented. Get them out of Detroit and let them have a little national fame. They deserve it more than most. Uh, Geraldine Ditto, especially. Uh, wasted talent right now. Happy Thanksgiving, more later. So, so. I'm here with Heather. We're gonna have this meal that was laid on us at the bus. What, the bus driver let everybody on the bus get off and get a Thanksgiving dinner yeah, by some people. I didn't even find out who they were. Some church probably. And uh, they gave us this nice meal. Uh, they gave us two yeah. meals. But Heather gave hers to one lady that had too much stuff and she was afraid she was gonna miss her bus. So she didn't uh, get off she, and get a, she, uh, I think she might have mobility issues, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter, even if there's nothing wrong, uh, you know, we could share a meal, you know, that's just one more for an extra person. So you gave yours to her, right? Oh, yeah. I know, you're just a beautiful person, no, a lot of people wouldn't do that. It doesn't matter. Now we're walking why. by, and this uh, Patrick so, Mac so, McNamara yeah, Federal Building. There's also the whole thing, you know, timing, right, timing. Yeah. It saved her some time. It saved her some time, and she couldn't have gotten off on the bus and back on probably, and you gave her your meal and did it without even thinking about yourself. And you and I are going to split that one, and we'll both be fine, right? Beautiful thing. Now, we were walking by. It's raining now, and we had to walk an 11-minute walk in the rain now. No forks given over there on that Velveeta advertisement that got painted there. That's a nice painting job, idea. But anyway, we're walking by the Patrick... V. McNamara building, 
in the rain on our way to the Greyhound station, way down there. And I said, well, let's duck out of the rain and eat now because once we get to the Greyhound station, we've got to put the mask back on. The entire time we're in any Greyhound facility or any Greyhound bus or whatever, uh, it's a COVID rule. And so we're walking by here, the McNamara building, and I made a comment. I said, if uh, we do have any protection from Homeland Security or anybody like that, and I'm hoping we do, uh, there, there's some people up in this building monitoring us. That's a federal building there. And uh, that's a federal building. And uh, uh, I just making that joke, and Heather, she, Ruby, she says, oh, look at the pyramids. I love pyramids. Do you notice the pyramids? Because there's two glass pyramids here at the, at the federal building. And uh, I said, oh, yeah, I love pyramids. Let's have lunch under a pyramid. So uh, when we were filming a Star Trek, most of the stars were there at the Tropicana. I was there with Brent. Uh, one of the luxuries of being a sand in of a big star like that is that uh, you got to be in proximity of them, uh, like you know, to get to work and everything on and stuff. So anyway, I had a suite. I don't know if it was good as Brant's or not, but uh, it was on the same floor as Brant at the Tropicana. So I had a view out the front onto the strip where I knew. So I went a couple of crew guys' rooms and uh, now. Nah. They didn't have the view, they didn't have the rooms like I had there on the, at the Tropicana when we were there for, uh, uh, when we were there uh, using a Valley of Fire as the location to, you know, at Film Generations, I was standing in for Malcolm McDowell, that's why I'm a blind Malcolm McDowell, Malcolm McDowell, you you could verify me and you, I will tell that story about you and I'll give that away for free if you verify that you remember me, mm-hmm. And uh, I got nothing that uh, you'd be ashamed of that I say about you. I, I got every beautiful thing to say about you and Mary Steenburgen and Ted Danson and, and that whole thing and Whoopi and the um, way I know all the four of y'all through, through that whole period of time. And uh, uh, Ted, you now, I got it. Talk to you someday. Anyway, uh, what? Oh, you're not eating. I told I'm you to eat. For I'm, you to eat. I asked you all a question right, well, and you never well, answered. Well, give me it. some. Give me a piece of roll while I eat a piece spoon, of bread. Spoon or oh, it's still warm. Spoon or fork? It's still warm. Spoon uh, a spoon. Spoon. Okay. Spoon. I like to spoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I forgot I was talking about you, and I, uh, it happened every time. I talk tangentially, folks. Uh, you heard me say that before. Yeah, you Shouldn't even my mouth full. Hard to talk without teeth anyway. Help me get my teeth fixed, Paramount. And um, you owe it to me. And uh, we're having a beautiful trip. And um, I'm going to eat my Thanksgiving dinner now. I'm going to say a little prayer first, and then I'm going to eat it. Thank you.